Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Reid and I am a naturopathic doctor and this is a video about using a therapeutic trial to assess whether someone might be suffering from some type of a chronic or persistent infection. Uh, I posted about this in my last video and um, as discussed in that video, um, a therapeutic trial can confer a lot of benefit over other types of assessment methods to see if someone might have an infection. Um, the punchline being uh, running tests through different private laboratories can be very expensive. Um, it can take a while to get test results back. And the various labs will only test for, they only are able to test for certain species of uh, microbes. So if you have a less common um, uh, variant of say Borrelia or Bartonella or whatnot in your system, um, then the lab just might be unable to pick it up because the testing assay doesn't actually exist uh, yet. So um, a therapeutic trial, in my opinion, can be quite useful because it can cast a very broad net um, and just basically going after a wide array of microbes and seeing how the patient feels. So if a person starts on some antimicrobial product, a protocol, like I would usually use herbs as the uh, foundation of that, um, then and the person fe starts feeling better or they uh, have an initial flare up, then it indicates that we're affecting some type of a physiological change and it may very well be that we're barking up the right tree by working with an antimicrobial protocol. So um, the way that that looks, it really depends on the patient. It depends on how many symptoms they have from the get-go, what their overall state of health is. Are they super, super sensitive individuals? Do they have an underlying issue with say histamine intolerance or mast cell activation, which might make them even more sensitive to different uh, symptoms um, and or, or uh, possibly flaring up or whatnot, like more more sensitive to that. Um, and so depending on how they're doing would dictate, are we going to start with, you know, um, a very slow buildup therapeutic trial with an herbal protocol? Um, are we going to use uh, just a few herbs? Are we going to use multiple herbs simultaneously? Are we going to put um, a biofilm disruptor into the mix to really try to shake things up? Um, are we going to potentially go big or go home and use uh, an herbal protocol biofilm disruptor and say an intravenous um, uh, antimicrobial treatment to try to just really, you know, rustle the bushes up? Um, so all of those um, parameters are really influenced by, once again, the baseline state of health of the patient and timeline factors and, and a bunch of a bunch of different variables. Um, the general protocol that I would use for most patients would be using a fairly broad spectrum array of antimicrobial herbs. I would usually use them in an herbal tincture form, unless there was some reason the patient couldn't consume alcohol, in which case we'd use dried encapsulated herbs instead. Um, and the herbs that I work with are the ones that are um, talked about and written about by um, Stephen Buhner um, primarily. Um, there are some others that I use as well, but the Buhner inspired protocols are what I found to be the most reliable, the most useful in my practice, and so that's what I tend to use. And so what I would generally do is um, either you know, sometimes slowly, but usually fairly quickly, rapidly um, dosage escalate um, the, uh, or sometimes jump into the full dose depending on the, the constitution and vitality of the patient, but um, basically build them up fairly quickly as a rule to a full therapeutic dose. So like a full dose that I'd be using if I had a piece of paper saying like, yes, you very likely have this particular infection that's probably causing your symptoms. So I'd build them up to a full dose pretty quickly, possibly put them on a strong biofilm disruptor um, as well, and then and see how they're doing. Um, and generally within the span of usually a week at the very most, um, or at least within a few days of them being on the full strength protocol dose, um, we're gonna have a pretty good sense of whether they're feeling better or worse. Um, Unfortunately, most of the time it's that they feel worse um, because we're hitting things way too strong, way too aggressively, and we start seeing some herxing and then we back off and then say, okay, you felt worse from an antimicrobial protocol. The only thing it's really doing is killing microbes. So presumably you're feeling worse because um, we're killing something and we don't know what the microbe is, what the species is, but at least it gives us some motivation to move ahead with those antimicrobials. Um, sometimes patients do feel better um, on the uh, therapeutic trial and that's great. And of course the goal is for them to feel better, um, but oftentimes in my practice, at least we have to build patients up on the dosing um, to, to get them feeling better. So uh, therapeutic trial, um, I'm a big fan. Um, I really like uh, the fact that it's, uh, we get feedback pretty quickly. It's much, much less expensive to put it into perspective. Um, you know, a therapeutic trial, um, at least in my practice, it's going to be, you know, under a hundred dollars anyways, um, for, or that would be sorry for a month's supply of those um, herbs for a, for a one week therapeutic trial it might be like 25 bucks, give or take. Um, so not, not super expensive. 
um, and um, and and uh, it's something where we kind of get feedback pretty quickly. Um, I, as I said in my previous couple of videos about testing, I really do love the test results. Um, I think they're wonderful, but they're just um, not perfect and they're expensive. So um, when we can have the test, that's great. But a therapeutic trial, I think, is very, very um, valuable um, to work with just on its own. So I hope that's helpful.